So at this customer's yard, we're actually putting down two pallets of Zenith Zoysia. All right, YouTube, what's up? I'm Caleb Jones, back at it again with another video. Today's video is I'm actually at one of my customer's house right now, if you can't tell. I basically have already prepped this area, and uh, today I'm gonna lay some Zenith Zoysia. You know how you say that? That's how rich people talk, Zenith Zoysia. <laughs> but uh, Zenith Zoysia is a really beautiful grass. It grows in the shade, drought tolerant, disease tolerant. It's just a beautiful grass, and I think my customer's gonna be super happy when I get done with their yard. Uh, their backyard is about to look like paradise. So enough with the talking, let's get into this video. I'm solo today, working by myself, so uh, yeah. Let's get started and get the job done. Okay, let's go. So one thing about laying sod in a customer's yard, always make sure you put your compost down first, then put your starter fertilizer on top of your compost before you lay your grass. There's a lot of companies out here that just go in, prep the yard, lay the grass, and then they wonder why they got dry spots later on down the road. The compost and the starter fertilizer is gonna get a new grass, all the nutrients and potassium that it needs to grow right. I promise you, because I've done it so many times. If you do it the right way, you have great results. Sorry, it's 92 degrees out here. I'm sweating already. And it's not even 11 o'clock. There's a lot of really great products out here, but I definitely recommend using the Scott's uh, starter fertilizer just because I have great experience with it. I used it in my yard, other people's yards, and 
for some reason, I swear, I get the best results with the Scott's fertilizer and the compost from Superside. Those two things just make your yard just grow like crazy. So those are my tips that help. So, you know, to each his own, but that's what works for me. So we're going to keep going. Today. something about landscaping it's super hard to find good hill well guess what I got a good friend named Sammy that came and help your boy today <laughs> So we've been here for about four or five hours. Um, so far, we got the grass laid. We got a couple more pieces gonna be laid. A couple spots need to be filled in. But other than that, I mean, the property looks amazing. The homeowner's gonna be super happy. Zoysia just looks like carpet. I think it's the most beautiful grass. And uh, shout out to my friend Sammy for coming to help me because it definitely been way more work if he didn't help me. So he definitely came and helped me out for an hour like a good friend does. But just take a look at this, how good it looks. It looks amazing. All right, so we're pretty much done. Um, the yard looks amazing, if you can't tell. We got all the sod laid, looks great. On to the next job, I got like seven yards I gotta go mow today. I got a big cleanup job to do tomorrow. I got another sod job to do next week. So all I think I say is every day's a blessing. God is truly blessing me with my lawn care business and I'm so thankful for that and I'm thankful for the customers I have. So enough with that. Make sure you follow your boy on Instagram right here at Caleb Caleb23. Thanks for watching, I truly appreciate it. Until next video, adios and have a great week and a safe 4th of July. We out, peace, soya.